Hey guys, this is Mr. Yoshi here from Bath Minecraft, here with a first redstone tutorial video. I thought I'd start this off with a quite a fun one, which is the dispenser rapid fire launcher. You can fire fire charges, arrows, mob eggs, any of those. Let's we'll start this off making a new world, call it redstone, creative world, and make it super flat. Let's go. Alright, yeah. the only problem I have with these super flat worlds is, ooh, look at village. <laughs> well, you can find villages easily, but slimes spawn everywhere. They're like totally anti-rare. Well, anyway, let's get on with this. So, we're going to need to clear some inventory space. We're going to need redstone torches, so I'm going to put it on. I use stone. Uh, lever. Redstone. Uh, and a dispenser. And later on, you'll need something to dispense, but we'll get to that later. So what you want to start with is simply two blocks with one block in between them. The sides facing you, place redstone torches. On the opposite side, place redstone torches. Place three in the middle here, three on the outside, and three on this outside, and one on top of each block. And that'll produce the rapid fire on off that will power the piss so the dispenser. And uh, sorry that you can't hear the Minecraft sounds right now. Um, see, look at that slime. Just give me a moment. Um, diamond sword and a bow, just in case they get too close. All right. So you can't hear. The, sorry, you can't hear the Minecraft sounds for some reason. I can't get Cam Studio to agree with that. And um, I'll have to work on that maybe for the next video. But anyway, let's continue with the tutorial. So you just want to branch off the output here. Uh, you can go as far as you want as long as the redstone can still reach. I like to just go two because it keeps it simple, but for larger constructions you may need more or less depending on whatever it is. You want to leave another, you want to leave a blank space and then put your dispenser down there. Now, you can't hear it, but the dispenser will not be firing right now. You need to be, so it won't fire all the time, we want it to be toggleable. What we could just do is place the dispenser here and it would dis dis dispense all the time. We don't, we don't want that. We want it to dispense when we want it to. So now we just build a little thing above it. Doesn't matter how big it is, as long as the redstone above with the space where the dispenser is. Put redstone on top here. Put your lever on the side. Now when you flip this lever, the redstone on top will activate, and that will allow the dispenser to fire. And so here we can get a bunch of our arrows. Grab them up and put them in the dispenser. Now you see right now they're not firing anything. When I pull this lever. There they go. Now you can also just grab these arrows back up. God dang it. Stupid slimes. Ah, they're everywhere. Rage all over them. Ah, I'm destroying the ground. I'm a bad person. Hurting the environment and killing hopeless slimes in creative mode, so I can't even die. <laughs> well, so you can branch off the redstone here and place more dispensers down and also fill these dispensers with whatever, with whatever you want I'll go with this time instead of just doing just arrows I'll use fire chargers in two of them and I'll use uh... let's go let's go sheep like some sheep too the second one has arrows this one will, will have two fire charges stacks of fire charges two stacks of fire charges two stacks of sheep and two stacks of sheep. Now just make a nice little wall here. We can attack with our sheep and fire charges. And just so the sheep don't get out. So we can watch them burn. We are just that great. I know, right? All the animals love me. I'm like Cinderella, except I'm pretty sure Cinderella didn't have animals. She was like a poor person. But either way, that's not on topic at all. So you just flip this, and now off you go. You got your fire chargers, you got your burning sheep, you got your sheeping uh, arrows. This is very animal cruelty right now. And um, sometimes, because tor these torches burn out, which is why there's four of them, that is normal two, one, the torches will burn out. So when they burn out, they go, tss, make a noise, it gets annoying. And so instead of just playing on destroying the whole thing, whenever you don't want to run, just set the back up again. Too many sheep, too many sheep. Instead of destroying the whole thing, when you don't want to run and get annoying, you can just lead something off it, attach a lever. When you pull that lever, it'll completely stop, and it'll come in inactive. Just shoot down this freaking... Ah, uh, now there's a cow here. I didn't even put a 
cow spawner. Ugh, never mind. So yeah, that's basically it. Now you can do whatever you want with dispensers and shoot up as much as you like. You just keep shooting and shooting and shooting until they run out of ammo. You can see all the painful screams, but the problem is <laughs> the more that die, the more that spawn. So I'm not really helping myself at all there. And so I'm just going to take some flint and steel. What? No, I didn't say it out loud, did I? And, you know what? I might as well do this the old-fashioned way. It's good old TNT. Sorry, sheep. Your life's about to get a whole lot worse. Alright, prep the TNT. It's kind of sloppy, but I'm just rushing this because I don't want to make this video too long or else you people will probably get bored and then I'll get fired. Actually, no, I don't get paid for this. That would be amazing. That's not yet, though. Eventually. Eventually, we'll get paid. Alright, and so that's a pretty nifty cleanup, if I do say so, so, say so myself. Alright, well, this has been Mr. Yoshi from Bath Minecraft with our first Redstone tutorial, and... If you would like me to show anything else, you can leave a comment or send us an email at bathminecraft at gmail.com about any redstone tutorials you'd like me to go over, provided I actually know how to do them and I'm not a complete idiot, but not so sure about that. And so if I don't get anything in by the next time I want to make a video, or next time I have to make a video, uh, then I'll just think of a topic my on myself that most people don't know, or most people would like to know. And I'll try to put in a video at least every week unless I get like an overflow of asks on what people want me to do. And so yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like and like and subscribe, rate, comment, share, whatever you need to do that could help us out here. If you like this video, if not, then I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry I just wasted part of your time, but it's worth it, right? Le you learn something. Well, you learn something every day. Like today I learned that TNT is good for killing sheep, and you probably learned that I like to kill sheep. <laughs> so, I bid you all a farewell and have a nice day.